Hello, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to Atomic Mail Sender which is available for free download on MessyMailSoft.com. This is a simple to use bulk mailer program that allows you to send thousands of personalized emails to your subscribers or customers. So after viewing this video, you will learn how to install Atomic Mail Sender, change Mail Sender settings to avoid spam filters, use built-in and third-party templates, work with your mailing list, schedule your mailings and customize your letters with data about recipient like name, website, etc. Let's start with the installation. To use this software, you need any Windows system with 5 MB of disk space and a memory of 256 MB. These are very basic requirements, so we can say Atomic Mail Sender works on any personal computer. After downloading and double-clicking the installation file, you will see a wizard offering to choose your preferred language, accept the license agreement and continue to next steps. You will be asked if you have a license key. You can safely choose the demo version, as it has most of the functions you need to try and decide if this software is right for you. I have a license key, so I pasted it. The installation continues and now it's installed. Double-clicking the icon will start the program, and you will be prompted to enter your name, email and company name. I will do it right now. This data will be used to send emails, so make sure you type everything right. Oh, I have a registration reminder screen. Let's click registration and enter the serial number again. If you do not have one, you can get it using the link on the screen. First thing you need to do is set up your email delivery options. I strongly recommend to contact your SMTP service provider and check the speed and daily limits allowed for your account. The important thing is HLO value. You need to set it right if you do not want your mail tagged as spam, so click this link and copy and paste the line you see on the website. Again, never use the built-in server to send your mail. Choose an external SMTP. For the purpose of this presentation, I will use Gmail. As far as I know, they allow sending 500 emails per day. If your mailing list is bigger than the number of emails allowed by your provider, you can add up several servers and set the limit of emails each server can process. I already have the correct data for sending mail through Gmail's SMTP. You can leave other settings like DNS as they are. You will need to change your proxy settings only if you a. connect to the Internet through a proxy server or b. want to hide your real IP address and use a third-party proxy. You can leave temps, headers and miscellaneous as they are, they are not really that important. So I have set up everything and now it's time to test. Click in test and here we go. Message sent? Not a surprise really. I will check my email and make sure it arrived. This is the message, so it works fine. Let's see what we have in the menu, because I will be sending real messages soon. Not unusual, regular text editor. I will show you how to create emails using templates. Click New Message from Templates and choose the template you like and click OK to load it. I added the headline, the title, the text and so on, until I'm happy with the result. If you are proficient with HTML, you can edit HTML code, otherwise choose alternative text part.
the message is ready. Time to add my mailing list into the project. Typically you add recipients from a file or database. Adding from clipboard is another option, or you can add the contacts directly from Outlook. I don't recommend it unless you know what you are doing, but you can harvest emails from all files on your computer, CD and DVD disks, and websites. I will tell about that in another video. So everything is ready, and I can push the send mail button. I could have added tracking functionality, but it's needed only in a real campaign. The mails are being sent. After that, I generate a report and save it to keep track of what I sent and to whom. It's a regular Excel file. That's pretty it. I can also use the scheduler to send emails at the time I want. I just need to create a project as at the date and time and the mail sender will do the rest. And now I want to show you a really handy function I use very often. You can personalize your emails by adding recipient's name, website address, or any other information you have in your mailing list file. So I pasted the message. Now we need to change the mailing list. And everything is ready. I send the mail out. and check my inbox. Here I have a message with correct name, URL and email. Written it. And the last thing I want to cover in this tutorial is how to unsubscribe users from your mailing list. I click Recipients, Unsubscribe, and set up the program to check my mail and remove all the users that sent emails with Remove or Unsubscribe in the subject field. I can also remove bounce to mail messages if I want to. Or I can remove users manually by pasting a list of emails and they will be unsubscribed from all future mailings. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos about email marketing software, please check out messemailsoft.com. Thank you for watching.